God bless you, Zion. We are in Jacksonville, Florida. God bless you. Real talk, let's talk. Straight talk, let's talk. What the church is not talking about. I thank you for viewing us today. I have some special guests with me. We're just so happy to be in Jacksonville, Florida. And we're just so excited to be in the Prince's house. We have Pastor... Shedrick Prince. We have Prophetess. Joyce Prince. And we have a special guest all the way from North Carolina. Yeah. Apostle. Yeah. Christine Harper. And we're just so glad to be here today. We're going to talk about... Battling the rejection, the spirit of rejection in the house of God. How many of you know we have struggled long enough and we are still on the series of going back in the church a different way. We cannot go back in the church the same way we came out. And as we begin to talk about some of the issues that we have in the church, and one of the things we just begin to meditate on is the spirit of rejection. Sometimes the spirit of rejection will destroy the whole church. And sometimes we have to deal with the spirit of rejection in us. Oftentimes we don't even know that it's there. Oftentimes we don't even know that we're dealing with the spirit of rejection. Sometimes it comes from our childhood. Maybe we've been abandoned. Maybe our moms, our dads left us. Maybe we feel like we can't do this, we can't do that. Someone has spoke ill words over our lives and then that spew over from our childhood to our adulthood. Yes. And from our adulthood, then it spews over into the church house. So we're going to talk about the spirit of rejection today. I'm going to let some of the panel just kind of talk about some of the experiences that they may have experienced with themselves or church members and then we're going to talk about Leah. We know that Leah really battled with the spirit of rejection. That's why every time you look, Leah was having a baby and she was calling that baby after her pain. Some of us call our situations after our pain. Mm. We have given our pain a name and mm. sometimes we carry that pain long enough. But I want you to say today, I have dwelt here long enough. So I'm going to yeah, ask yeah. these leaders what can we do about the spirit of rejection that shows up in anger, bitterness, jealousy, insecurity, and intimidation? What can we do? Anybody want to talk about the spirit of rejection that we are dealing with in this day? I think the number one thing is we need to teach love. If we teach love, rejection can't live. Because if love is in the heart, rejection doesn't have a place. If you, when you're talking about Leah, one of the things she said after she gave birth is, maybe my husband will love me now. And yeah. so she's looking for the outward appearance of a man to love her instead of God. And if we teach the godly love instead of man love, mm -hmm. then we'll, we'll lose rejection. Rejection won't have no place. Wow. One of the things I like the prophet says, sometimes we're looking for love in the outer. We think if we lose weight, we think if we get our tummy tuck, we think if we um, we get our face lit, we think if we get our face beat, we think when we do all these things, maybe we'll be loved. And do you know that we may change the outside, but if the inside has not changed, yeah, we're my. still tormented by our demons. Right. Oftentimes we can lose all the weight, but we haven't lost the inside weight. Yes. So sometimes mm. we go through the routine of losing weight from the outside, but we're still still overweight on the inside yes. so we're still carrying that baggage and even in the house of God Apostle I know you travel a lot and you deal with a lot of women so what are some of the things that you see with rejection because as we looked at Leah Leah was bitter Leah was angry, Leah was insecure, Leah was looking for everything in the world to fit that void. And sometimes we see folks and we're looking for something to fit that void. Mm -hmm. Maybe if I get married, I'll be alright. Maybe mm -hmm. if this man loved me, I'll be alright. Yes. I just can't stand yes. to be alone. So can anybody relate to, I got yes. to have a man. If I have a man, I can fill this void. What you say about it, Apostle? There's so many, it's, like, it's almost like an octopus. Mm -hmm. It has so many tentacles to it that shows up in the, pay, the way people respond to different situations. Uh, a lot of times rejection will mask itself in, mm -hmm. in those areas like you just mentioned, Apostle, uh, in anger, in bitterness, in low self-esteem. The any way, any way to heal anything is to get to the root cause. Yes. If we don't deal with the root, then we'll never be able to really totally eradicate what's going on inside a person. Uh, we've all been rejected, and rejection's ugly. It hurts. Uh, it, it hurts, and it cuts deep. But as Prophet Prince was saying, if we teach genuine love, mm -hmm. and that when I say genuine love, that genuine love not only does it cast out all fears, yes. okay, yes. that genuine love will also put a person in a place 
where they understand that they are valued. Mm -hmm. uh, and it doesn't matter if so-and-so doesn't like me. It doesn't matter if uh, I live at a different place than somebody else lives. Mm -hmm. Or if I look, live, um, look a little bit different. If I'm black or if I'm white. All of these things play into that spirit of rejection. Even slavery. Mm -hmm. Many things that we see in the black community is a result of that rejection of being a human being that was inbred in our ancestors and we're feeling the residual effects of it. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about rejection, and the, what's interesting is that not only does do we feel the residual effects of it as black people, but, but whites as well because when you deal with slavery, it's not just a black issue yeah. because slavery actually enslaved both blacks and whites because it indoctrinated us into a way of thinking and now when we don't get our way mm -hmm. we when we get rejected then we play it out we mm -hmm. act it out in so many different ways that we see it in our society when all we need to do is begin to try to value people yes. right where they are mm -hmm. find the value in each person right where they That's are good. and remove the religious mass remove all those other things that keep tends to breed rejection and and it, it rejection is a strong man it's a spirit and if we don't deal with the root cause of the issue if we don't go in and we don't bind the strong man see apostles a lot of times we'll deal with the foot soldiers mm -hmm. and we don't go after and attack the strong man mm -hmm. we'll get rid of the foot soldier of anger we'll get rid of the foot soldier of uh, low self-esteem but we don't continue on in the house mm -hmm. until we get to the root, and that root being rejection, which may be an even deeper strong man. Oftentimes with females, we won't let um, pastor say something, mm -hmm. but oftentimes when rejection comes, we compare. Uh, we feel um, that we that someone hadn't treated us right, or you gave right. this one something and you didn't give me something, and we have the spirit of feeling entitled, or we have mm. the spirit of feeling neglected or abandoned, and we always mm -hmm. have to say, that's just mm -hmm. like children, when you gave it to her and you didn't mm -hmm. give it to me, you did that for her and you didn't do it for me, so we never feel accepted. Mm -hmm. And so with Leah, Leah said in the first, she, she said, because God saw my affliction, mm -hmm. because God saw my affliction, he gave me a son, and the son was Reuben. A lot of times, we in a place and we just want people to see I'm hurting, mm -hmm. see wow. that I'm going through, mm -hmm. see that I'm in this situation mm -hmm. and I'm seeing this saying well why you love her more than you love me mm -hmm. why did you do this for her and you didn't do it for me and we're always in a comparison I can't never do for the other person what I'm feeling like I have to do for you mm -hmm. because of that spirit of rejection it makes you feel insecure mm -hmm. so oh, pastor boy. you deal with women you know and, and, and a lot of times men folks don't deal with this as much and if they mm -hmm. do they don't show it as much of feeling like I got to be accepted you know man you're like I don't care if you don't like me and mm -hmm. I, I don't care if you don't fool over me I don't got to be in a corner but women always got to feel like we got to be together I got to go with you here we got to do this together and we don't feel like you could be her friend and then be mine she was my friend first so pastor what do you say about the spirit of rejection mm -hmm. that you deal with in the church as a leader Rejection, it, 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 it wraps around the whole body because of um, different formats that come up. You have, if you have one, you got to lay away each layer of pill yes. until you get to the to the root of the problem. And the pr problem don't only solve on, in the um, um, churches; it's, it's in our community. And and, and 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 as a church, as a whole, we're supposed to um, wrap the uh, um, the fall around the. The whole thing. The Bible said, "How can we? How can we work together without agreeing?" And if we ain't agreeing on the the main matter, is which is which is the Bible said, put on the whole the whole righteousness of Christ. We got to put on the whole thing, not just part of me. And and, and as and as a, as a as a Christian and as a, as a minister, we 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 bear to to to, to limit it. And what, what what I'm saying is what, what I'm saying is not to limit the um. The um the um the, the problem is is eliminating eliminating the the, the to, to get to the problem. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And if we don't if we don't do that, we we still miss the mark. Right. We still missing the mark because um when Le when Le the story say about Le Leah Leah when when she stopped bearing she had problems. Oh 
Mm-hmm. She had problems. And Lil was feeling she rejected because she felt barren. Barren, yeah. And she wanted to compete with her right. competitor. Right. And so Lil, Lil was saying, see, I'm hurting. See, I'm going through. Can you see this? Mm. Can you see my struggle? Yes. Oftentimes, people of rejection, they're saying, can you see this? Yes. And then we feel like, you don't know that I've been raped. You yeah. don't know that I've yeah. been molested. Yeah. You don't know that my mama left me. You don't know that my daddy didn't want me. You don't know. And now I'm clinging. Leah was looking for something to hold on to. Yeah. Leah yeah. was looking for something to cling. Because I got a husband that don't love me. Right. And Leah needed to feel love. So she was doing everything. Yes. Sometimes we look in rejection shows up and we're an alcohol because we're looking for love. Right. We're on drugs because we're looking mm-hmm. for love. We have sex problems because we're looking for love. we get in bad relationship, married in and out because I'm just telling you, can you see? I'm hurting yes. and I need to feel love. Yes. This affliction is hurting me so bad and so my pain is showing up in me. Right. Mm-hmm. But, 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 can, I, can, I, can I say something? And it just came to me. Look, we, we must look at this thing and say mirror, mirror on the wall. Come yes. on now. Come on now. We Amen. must say mirror, mirror on the wall. Who destroyed it all? Mm. Was it I? Was it my neighbors? No. Sometimes it be us. Right. Yes. Because we don't we don't follow the the proper protocol. Mm-hmm. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man can come to the Father but what? Through me. We always try to we always try to put the blame game on somebody else. And then sometimes it be our fault. Why I say that why I say our fault because we as a community mm. supposed to bear the the the, the frontier of the week as pastors. And not only as pastors, as churches, as a community, as government. You understand what I'm saying? But we're not looking to the government, we look to the source, which is right, our right, heavenly right. fault. Amen. He Amen. said he will bind up the strong man. You understand what I'm saying? Sometimes a strong man, like you said, can be in alcohol, um, all kind of stuff. But I'm not, I'm not concerned about that right now. I'm concerned about the soul of the person. Right. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Because God said, "You bring them to me, and I clean them up." And he see, said, the spirit of rejection will make you feel guilty. Right. It'll make you feel ownership. Right. And we take the ownership of I'm blaming someone. Mm-hmm. When you're walking in rejection, it'll it, show it'll show right. itself saying, yeah. well, I blame my mom. I blame yes. the pastor. Yes. I blame yes. my sister. Yes. I blame this. I, that's why I can't keep a job. And so when you're in the spirit of rejection, like Leah was, there was blame, the blame game. Yes. So mm-hmm. sometimes, and even in her blame game, that's why she felt like, well, if I do this, then he'll love me. If yeah. I do that, he'll yeah, love me. Even baby. after each baby, you know, the first one, it was like, I'm hurting. Do you know that I'm hurting? Can't you see that I'm hurting? And the Bible even goes on to say, even after the certain, the second child, um, the second child was Simeon. It said, and the, um, the Lord heard. You know, with Reuben, it said, the Lord saw. And yes. so she said, I want you to see this. And now she's saying, I'm crying out. Is there yeah, anybody out there saying, I'm crying out? I'm hollering. Sometimes we react to rejection yes. in a different way. Sometimes we begin to throw temper tantrums. Sometimes we fight. Sometimes we begin to scream. Sometimes we begin to holler. With Lil, she began to say, I'm hollering out. I'm acting out. Sometimes the spirit of rejection causes us to act in ungodly ways mm-hmm. and folks don't realize okay now I'm dealing with this rejection mm-hmm. and I'm screaming out but the Bible says that the Lord heard in the beginning she needed to she wanted to get God's attention that he could see this mm-hmm. and sometimes when we're in rejection we want you to see we want you to see what I'm going yes. through yes. now you're screaming ah! so anybody can understand that sometimes rejection yes. shows up yes. in a diverse way yes. I want you to see this yes. I want you to hear this I I want you to feel the pain that I'm going through. I want you to know, even in temple tantrums, rejection shows up in temple tantrums. I'm going to let some of these ladies, I can get carried away with Leah. I love Leah. You know something, Apostle? Um, Leah was not the only person walking in rejection. Mm -hmm. Her sister Rachel was walking in rejection as well. As well, and Rachel reminds me of Hannah. Mm -hmm. They both were in similar situations in that they were both barren. And they felt the rejection of their husbands even though they weren't rejected. Mm. But it was because of what they thought they didn't have that mm. somebody else okay. did have. Mm. They walked in that rejection. Which I like really, to say that again. If they were rejected because they wanted what somebody else had. That, so, oh, they, I like that. They were, I don't know. We'll have to re- rewind. I don't even know what I said. But, 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 you, but they were, she was rejected. She rejected herself. Based on what she saw 
somebody else mm -hmm. had that she didn't have. But it wasn't a true rejection that she was receiving for her husband because both Rachel and Hannah were loved by their husbands, but yet because of what they thought they didn't have, they felt rejected. Both were barren. Nah, Rachel, mm -hmm. Rachel mm -hmm. was the choice wife. Mm -hmm. Leah, mm -hmm. <laughs> Leah was the second. We, he was. The, she was the first wife because oh, her husband exactly. got tricked exactly. into exactly. it. Exactly. And Rachel was feeling rejected because now her womb was closed up mm -hmm. to the point where she even asked her sister, "Let your son give me some of those mandrakes because they were known as aphrodisiacs." Mm -hmm. She was thinking, "Okay." You know, if I get a child, he's going to, you know, he's going to love me. He's going to be with me. But she failed to remember he wanted her first. He never wanted Leah. And the, sa the same with Paniah and Hannah. Hannah. Mm -hmm. Hannah's husband loved Hannah. Gave, the Bible said he gave her a double portion. But she still rejected herself because she looked. And that's part of rejection. Rejection will have you looking at what everybody else is doing and then what everybody else is at. Everybody else has, right. That's, but it doesn't have anything to do with you. That's why I said mirror, mirror. Mirror, Stop mirror. Stop looking at yes. the mirror and look to the source. Yes. We, 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 we want to look at other things besides looking to Jesus. Mm -hmm. And Jesus is the only answer. Mm -hmm. He's Amen. the only answer. That's right. We, 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 can, we, can look at, we can look to mama, we can look to daddy, we can look to whoever. Mm -hmm. But the answer is there. It's not there. Not even in the psychiatrist. Amen. It's in Jesus. And if we get to the we get to that point that really say, I really gonna trust God and, and, and just put it out there. Say it again, Pastor. Just put really it out there. God. And I mean sh sh like them kids say for show show. For show, show. <laughs> I mean, hey, you'll see your whole life change. Right. Because Jesus said, I'll never forsake me, leave you, I'll never forsake mm. you. I got you know, one of the things that I got out of that is the similarities was they were all barren. So that means they were empty. My they God. were empty. Oh, there was a void. Something needed to be put back yes. in. Mm -hmm. And so when something needs to be put back yes. in, they don't have the ability to see. Come on now. Because they're empty. There's a oh, void. Yes. There's yes. nothing there. And when there's nothing there, they don't have the ability to say, mm -hmm. hey, listen, they're screaming out. They don't know how to cry out. Oh. They don't know how to hear. They don't know how to do that. They want you to hear. That's why the behavior is profound. That behavior and rejection, you can spot it a mile away. It's profound. So they don't, they don't have the ability. So that, that's why as leaders, we have to be uh, prepared. We have to be prepared to love them right there where they My are. Gosh, yes, love yes, that yes, hell yes. up out of them. Love yes. all that rejection, that fear, mm -hmm. because it, it brings on fear. It brings on pride. It brings on rebellion. It brings yes. on all of that. So we have to be able to love all of those things out of them. We have to be able to see to their very mm -hmm. soul that mm -hmm. they're empty on the inside. And in rejection, it always makes you want more. And all you're never satisfied. You always feeling like you want something that you don't have. And sometimes you got it and don't even know that you have it. Exactly. Sometimes yes. you have that yes. and you don't even have it. And because you're looking at what somebody else is doing, you're looking at what somebody else got, you look at what somebody else is going, you can't be complete with what God is doing in your life. So even with Leah, Leah was never satisfied with what God was doing with her. Yeah. She was yes. never complete with yeah. what God was doing mm. with her. She couldn't even see. And when the spirit of rejection comes, you can't even see where you are. Oh yes. You can't even yes. see where you're going. Yeah, you're you can't even see them. what you got. Yes. Even if you have a pocket full of money, yes. you'll still be complaining. Yes. Even if you have a beautiful home and a great job, you will still be complaining. Even if God has done everything that you've asked for, you'll still be wanting something that somebody yes. else has. Yeah. And that comes from the spirit wow. of rejection. Mm -hmm. We're always wanting what somebody else... And then we'll compare ourselves. Yeah. You know, when the spirit of rejection comes, we'll begin, begin to compare. Well, she looked better. And so now we're trying to do that. Yes. Well, she got mm -hmm. this. Yes. Now we try. Oh, she just bought a car. Now I want a car. Yes. She just got a new house. Now I want a house. It's not even that you need it. Not even that you should have it. It's only because that person has it. And the spirit of rejection, it always make you want more. Yeah. And it always wants to make you want things that you really don't need. It. And even as um, Leo began to bore out the kids, she still wasn't satisfied. And the mm -hmm. Bible said that Leo realized that even with the children, 
All those things didn't make her husband attached to her. Right, they didn't right. make her husband accept her. And sometimes we have all kind of things. We feel like we can go get the degree. Mm -hmm. We feel like we can have the perfect man. Yes. We feel like we can have the perfect body. Mm -hmm. We feel like we can have the perfect job. We can, we got mm -hmm. the money in the bank, and we still are not satisfied. Now, sometimes we feel like we're gonna go to the mega church because everybody is somebody right, right, at yeah. the mega church. Mm -hmm. Everybody just doing something. We can get belly tough. We can lose a hundred pounds, and there's still a void there. Lil had the children. She did all the things that she felt like that would bring success to her. And she said, even in this, he still didn't want me. And sometimes the more we do, there's still that empty place there. Yes. And so we're going to talk about the emptiness that's in the church. Because we're talking about going back into the church. And the spirit of rejection is very heavy. Mm -hmm. The spirit of rejection will make you not stay put. The spirit of rejection will make you, every time somebody says something to you, you get offended and you want to leave the house of God. And the spirit of rejection will make you feel like you're supposed to be over here ushering and now you want to mm -hmm. um, be the prophet. Because the spirit of rejection will make you want more than what God has given you at that time time and you can't even see what God is giving mm -hmm. and what God is doing and so when the spirit of rejection comes in the church we're never satisfied because now I want to do what sister so and so doing mm -hmm. I want to go with sister so and so going I want to go over there and even in the spirit of rejection we are so fragile somebody could look at you wrong and you just go snap crack a pop mm -hmm. so that means you just going in a tantrum somebody could look at you wrong and you won't stay rooted that you can grow so now I'm leaving the church mm -hmm. so the spirit of rejection will cause you not to get your roots. Yeah. I, I possibly, you want to say something? I, you could tell I did. Yes. You? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, the Word of God says that you are accepted in the beloved. Mm -hmm. And the opposite of rejection is acceptance. Mm -hmm. And once we find our acceptance, like Pastor said earlier, once we find our place mm -hmm. and our acceptance in the beloved, now who's the beloved? The Lord Jesus Himself. Mm -hmm. When we understand that we are accepted by Jesus, then the rejections that come will not rock us mm -hmm. because they will come. That's part of life. Once we understand that, we, remember I said rejection has, it's like an octopus. It has all these tentacles and it opens up the door to other satanic attachments. Mm -hmm. And if you're not careful, you'll be trying to put out this attachment or get delivered from this and you don't understand there's still other stuff going on but once we find ourselves in mm -hmm. and that's that, that's the key getting getting into the beloved mm -hmm. I, I was sharing with with uh folks earlier today how we have missed it because we when i say we i'm talking about the church because we have not talked to the level of genuine christ love, love. yes mm -hmm. and what what we're seeing the the um rejection of coming back to the church is because we didn't give them enough to draw them back. Yeah. We didn't teach we didn't teach Jesus to the level of love where they had fallen in love with him and really got in. I'm not talking about just the salvation experience. I'm talking about developing disciples. So when you go and you share the message of Jesus Christ and somebody cuts you out you ain't ready to give up. That's right. That's you right. You, you, you're not ready to quit because now you're in love mm -hmm. with Jesus. You're in love yes. with the gospel. Yes. And so it doesn't matter um, how many times you're going to get rejected. It doesn't matter uh, how many times you don't get to sing the solo mm -hmm. in, on the praise team or the mm -hmm. choir. You don't get to preach this mm -hmm. Sunday. Mm -hmm. It's not about that. It's, right. it's not about that because rejection perverted is selfishness. And see, that spirit of rejection will make you always feel like you need more. Mm -hmm. And that spirit of rejection will have you all over the map. It ain't have you all over the map. You ever see somebody, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. You're doing too much. So the spirit of rejection will make you feel like you will just always got to be doing something. And just because you're doing something don't mean you're doing what you're called to do. Mm -hmm. And so when the spirit of rejection comes, it have you doing everything but the right thing. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Okay, so what I was going to say is there's an identity crisis. Mm, right. And My so Lord. because there's an identity crisis and there's emptiness, it has to be filled back up. Mm -hmm. So it's just like you have a glass and you put a little bit of water. That layer begins to divide those other layers. It begins to conquer. 
because the Bible says we are more than conquerors. So then you add a little bit more if they can stand it because that mm -hmm. rejection makes them think that that's their home. This is my body. Mm -hmm. I tell you what to do. You move when I say move. But until that rejection is filled up with love, until that glass is filled up with love, mm -hmm. then rejection won't have no place because remember, they feel like they're lonely. They, they're empty. They don't have anything in them. So if you can't do nothing but love them right where they, where they are, are, and that rejection will not have the ability to, to take hold. Mm. If you, oh yeah, take roots. But if you, the identity crisis is because they don't know who they are. They're empty. Those women were barren. And they thought, okay, if I have a baby, then my husband will love me. They thought if I have another baby, and Leah got to the point, she said, I got three sons. Now he'll love me more. Mm -hmm. But we got to get to the place as women, as uh, leaders, we got to get to the place where we recognize it, get to the root of the problem, and stop working on the characteristics of the problem, but work on the root of the I problem. Fix the root, and it'll shoot yes. up. Uh, sprouts of love and those love will begin to overtake that um, that rejection and until we show love true love you can't tell me if I'm rejected and you're telling me because uh, I cut somebody out girl I don't, girl, don't want to fool up with you no more guess what that's going to bring on more rejection right. you got to say listen baby I'm going to love you right where you are you got to stop it I'm going to show you love. I'm going to teach you the love of God. Because what they're looking for is something to fill that void. Something to fill that emptiness. You can't continue to just shun them off because they're going to keep walking in mm -hmm. rejection. Mm -hmm. Then rejection comes frustration, comes bitterness, comes anger, comes uh, pride, comes rebellion. All those things come a hold of them. Then you can't reach them. The Bible says, he who wins souls is wise. Yeah. Not, not only that, is, may I have to please? Thank you. It's, 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 it's clear of <laughs> These ladies take it over. That, 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 is, uh, that we read the word. And I'm, 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 I'm going to let my wife read this hymn so we can get the good understanding. Because I'm, I like to stay within the Bible. You understand what I'm saying? So let's, let's just read. Let's just read when Rachel on, on down. And see what okay. it says. Go. Rachel's attempts uh -huh. to earn the unearnable are a picture of a much greater error mm -hmm. we can make. Mm. Like her, we find ourselves trying somehow to earn love, mm -hmm. God's love. But apart from his word, we end up with one of two false ideas. Either we think we've been good enough to deserve his Ooh. love, or we recognize we aren't able to earn Ooh. his love. And assume that it cannot be ours. Yeah, yeah. If, if, hold right there. Right right. Sometimes we, we, we need to stop assuming. Mm. Because sometimes we get, we, we, y'all know I'm an honest person now and I talk the truth. Sometimes we can get beside ourselves. Amen. Not outside of ourselves, but beside come ourselves. On, if we get outside of ourselves, we get, God, that's when God is coming because mm -hmm. we ain't got nothing in it but the naked truth. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? If we're standing on the naked truth, what else you got to, what else you got to lean on? You understand what I'm saying? So Rachel just she 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 actually realized that hey, I think this is enough. Mm. I think this is enough. Mm. After why she just said because the, if she could she find nothing else, right? Yeah. She came right. to, to a to a breaking place. Exactly. And sometimes we have yeah, to come to that breaking exactly. place. We have to come to this place no more. Yes. We got to come to this place. Yes. Exactly. Deal with me. Pastor was saying earlier, and I think that when the church comes to a healing, that you come Ooh, to a God. place of that's, that's, Lord, that's, what lack of that? Examine yourself yes. and see if you need yes. yes. He yes. was saying mirror, mirror on the wall. Yes. And a lot of times, you know, like I say, these videos lately has been for the house of God, and they got to start for the head down. Yes. Now when we're talking about rejection. A lot of times rejection show up when we show up in our nails and our hair and our, our cars and exactly. our vanity because when you're rejected sometimes, and we just got to be honest, yes. sometimes when we're rejected, like the pastor said, mirror, mirror on the wall, rejection shows up in vanity. I think I'm pretty. I think I'm better than everybody. Ooh, I got the need to feel like I'm important. Mm -hmm. I got the need to feel like I'm somebody and you're mm -hmm. nobody. I got the need to feel like I'm better than you. I got the need to feel like I got this and you don't have that. Mm -hmm. And that that's the, that's the part of rejection that we really have to deal with in the church yes. because we have people coming in on different walks of life. Mm -hmm. We got people coming in in different economics. Mm -hmm. And if we got the spirit of rejection, even the spirit of rejection mm -hmm. to make you feel um, 
um, better than everybody. Uh, make you feel yeah. superior. The spirit of rejection, even in the house of God, it'll make the person coming in ain't got nothing. You making them feel like I got it going on and you don't. Yes. And even if you don't say it, you show it. Yes. Uh, I'm better than you. You can't get in my car. You'll never come to my house. You, you, you're not good enough. You got to sit here in the church. I've been in churches oftentimes and they didn't even know I was the guest speaker. And it would be amazing how they would treat me wow. until, until I got on the pulpit. Yep. And then when I got my, in there and God my, my. used me, that I was the same woman that you was cutting up with. But after God began to uh, use me and my gift, then I was this mighty woman of God. Mm -hmm. And you know, a lot of times we have to deal with it in the house of God. Amen. Because yes. if we don't deal with it in the house of God, mm -hmm. when God is bringing people in, he's bringing it into arrogance. Arrogance is a part of rejection. Yes. You say, how is that? Mm -hmm. We become arrogant. We become prideful. We right. become jealous. We become competitive. We become insecurity. Mm -hmm. When we have the spirit of rejection, all that mm -hmm. shows up. Lil had a need, even Rachel. I want to be pretty. I want to be better than you. I want to have this. They were never content, never satisfied. Always needed more. Even sometimes we have to feel like it holds in the money. I, I, I got more money. And some, some of us feel like we got to have 50, 11 degrees. You know what, too, Apostle? Rejection is not a spirit you can tongue wrestle with. Mm -hmm. No, you can't. It, it's, a, it's a spiritual thing. You're going to have to then since, I mean, spend some time in prayer because that spirit is overwhelming. And so, if they, thing. yeah, so they don't know how to recognize it. And so, because they can't recognize it, all you're doing is sending them in a deeper grade. Right. So, you got to wrestle with it in prayer. Ask God to give you wisdom. Ask God to give you understanding. Ask God to give you knowledge when you're dealing with that. Because if not, you're going to lose that soul. And God said, He wish above all things that the soul prospers. And so, we got to get to the point as leaders where we're digging in. Where we're taking the time to say, okay, not throw them away because they're walking in rebellion or they're walking in pride or they're walking in one of those uh, spirits. But dig in and try to find a root. Come on, baby, let's spend some time. That's the, right. biggest, that's the biggest way to find out what's going on with somebody is to spend some quality time yes. with them. You spend some quality time with them, they'll start spurting out no. what's going on. That it'll start throwing it up like it's something that got a bug that got in the stomach. They'll start, it'll start coming out because they feel comfortable. What rejection don't want to do is be uncomfortable. Right. Oh, right. And you're so right, um, Prophet Prince. Another way that you can you can help a person overcome rejection is by helping them to identify yes. what is not only the rejection mm -hmm. but identify the positive things that's in them. Right. We're so quick to labor and focus on what you ain't got and yes. what you haven't done yes. that we don't focus on. You have who could, someone could have told Leah. You, and Baby, she didn't know at that time. Baby. She didn't. Take, yeah. She didn't know at that time. Yeah. But she ended up having ten of the twelve tribe of Israel. Yes. Oh, now she yeah. didn't know that. But yeah. somebody, if somebody could have pointed out to her, God has blessed your womb. Yes. If somebody could have pointed out Perished to her. Rachel mm -hmm. that God, your your womb might be closed right now, but you you're not barren with Christ. See, we're so quick yes. to point on, out. Michael what somebody is operating in that we fail to identify the gifts and the blessings and the talents mm -hmm. and to build that person up in what they do have. Mm -hmm. You said something earlier in, in terms of people can't see. They don't, they, when they're empty, mm -hmm. they can't see. Well, why not let's start filling them up, not with which is what's going on with you. Right. What, you, you, you cuss too much. You yes. sex too much. Mm -hmm. You too much this. You too much this. Let's look for the positive. You are a great artist. Yes. yes. Can you help us uh, paint a mural in the church? Mm -hmm. you, you are a good mother. Can you help us develop don't, this? Don't this uh, yeah, 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 right. Yeah. Can you help us to develop so this child care? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we we, we need to be able to, to, to meet people where they are, identify. And if you don't spend mm -hmm. time with them, You'll you never, will never yeah. know what you got. We got jewels in our churches yes. that we've lost mm -hmm. because we have labored on what you ain't doing. And I'm saying ain't. I know it's wrong, but it's impactful. Yeah. But what you ain't doing, rather than saying what you are great in this, yeah. let's, let's, yeah. let me help you build this. Yeah. And while you building there, mm -hmm. God is tearing down over here. 
Yeah, but that's I think scriptural. that comes from yeah. Identify, yeah. identifying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you saying an identifying. Uh, identity one of the crisis. things in mm -hmm. corporate America, they send mm -hmm. you to training mm -hmm. and leadership training. Mm -hmm. So when we're trying to bring people in and we're trying to re refocus, redirect, and encourage and mm -hmm. renew. We have to be in a position that we can identify. Right. We have to be in a position. Right. So as we're saying what the church needs, mm -hmm. I believe that God, the Lord is speaking to us leaders. Mm -hmm. right. So the leaders have to be retrained. Yeah. The leaders have to be redirected. Or trained for the first time. The lead, uh, trained for the yeah. first time. Yeah. And some, <laughs> some of the issues that's going on, because it's in the head, it's spewing down. And sometimes we don't want to identify. Right. We were taught wrong. Right. We were trained right. wrong. Right. We, or not at all. We, we, uh, not at all. Uh, not at all. Uh, 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 we got bad thoughts. So in order, we're saying they are coming in. Yes, we do desire the people to come in. Mm -hmm. But I believe God want to clean the house from the inside out. Amen. And yeah. cleaning the house from the inside out. Even some of the leaders, us, we oh, have problems. Yes. We have suffered. Yeah. We have suffered in the spirit of rejection because sometimes we look, that's why we can't get along with one another. Jesus. That's why we won't support one another. Yeah, on, That's why, you know, mm -hmm. we, we get intimidated and jealous mm -hmm. and insecure. Mm -hmm. That's why we're fighting one another. So we can't really talk about rejection and we say they right, until we right. say so we. we. You yes. know, we're saying yeah. they, but to be honest, we have to go back to the threshing floor. Yes. We have to go back and re be rebuilt. And even in training, sometimes as leaders, we have to build each other, train each other, and offer assistance to one another yes. and building skills. We're in the kingdom building mm, skills. Yes. And My one God. of the things, I'm going to let Pastor say something. As I begin to do these videos, I thank God for the support of Apostle Maude and uh, Hopper and um, you, um, the princess. But the Lord has just been dealing with me about just talking to the shepherds for now. We, I thank God, that, and God's going to do what he's going to do in the sheep. But into the house of God. Yeah. He said, I'm calling yes. us back to the house of God. Yes. We can't be pointing fingers and all these fingers is back at us. Yes. And so God wants us to take a, take a look at ourselves. And sometimes even as parents, we as leaders, we can go back as parents. Sometimes my daughter say things, and I, I, I won't fuss because I say, ain't no telling what state of mind I was in when I did it. I probably did, did do it. So can you forgive me? I can't even say it didn't happen. It may did happen. So I said that to say that even us as leaders, we have not always done things right. Yes. But God has given us another opportunity Absolutely. to get it right. Amen. We have not always had right training and right education and right things, but God has given us an opportunity to redo some things and to be retaught and to be retrained so that we can help the next generation. But we can't help the next generation if we in the spirit of leadership and we have the spirit of rejection. We have anger and bitterness. We have unforgiveness. And how would you say unforgiveness? I'm mad at you. Now all I got all my sheep mad at you. Yep. Yes, and the spirit of yes, rejection yes, is um, I'm not coming and I don't want nobody else to come. Yes. So that's the spirit of rejection. The spirit of rejection is now, you know, I'm mad because God don't bless you with a church. And I, I'm still over there in the house. And I'm telling them I'm talking about you. I'm spilling ill. That's the spirit of rejection. Right. Where we don't build up the leaders and we don't strengthen other leaders. We don't encourage other leaders. We don't support other leaders. We don't help other leaders. And we're, you know, the Bible says, when one part of the body hurt, we all hurt. Yes. And, and we're the only ones that, in, in leadership, we're telling the sheep to be supported. Yes. But we're not being supported. Yes. We're telling the sheep to be saved and to be loving and to be kind and be forgiving. But we want to teach it, but we got to live it. Yes. You, you know some Apostle, as you were talking, I just caught a vision how we are going back into the, the church, the building. Okay, mm -hmm. We are in the church. We're going back into the building. And we're spending lots of time, money, and energy detoxing, cleaning, mm -hmm. cleansing, wiping down, mm -hmm. hand sanitizer, face mask, whatever the case may be. And that is, that's prophetic. Mm -hmm. Because we're doing it in the natural to the building. But I heard God said, are you doing it in the in, in the yes. real church? Yes. You. In, the, in the real church. Are you sanitizing? Are you wiping down? Are you getting rid of infected mm. stuff? Are you cleansing the real church? Mm. Not just the structure. And, and I, as you were speaking, I just caught that vision in, in the spirit. How we are spending so much time on the external. Which is necessary, mm -hmm. 
but we are not spending half the time on the internal. And so when we go in there still infected because we hadn't done the work on the inside, we just recontaminate the external and everybody around us. And I'm going to let Pastor say something. But one of the things that you're saying, that work that got to be done, it's got to be done in us. Oh, yeah. And then... We'll be the first example. Right. We'll be the first partake of the fruit. Right. And first so fruits. when mm -hmm. we, this is like the detox and cleansing that you're doing. My Everybody God. else will follow suit. Come so on, you can't say, yes. I Amen. want the sheep to do this. And I'm looking at the sheep. And mm -hmm. the sheep ain't this. And the sheep ain't that. When you hurt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you feel abandoned. Mm -hmm. There's some pastors upset because people are left and they gone on and they moved on and God called them to other places. So the spirit of rejection. You, there's pastors that are dealing with rejection because mm -hmm. when God raised that person up and that person went to another ministry or that person, nobody's going to stay with you forever. Right. And everybody's not going to be in every chapter of your book. Yes, yes. And there's some people God raised up. We as African Americans, we never equip people to go out. We never equip people to say, okay, now you got all you need. You need to get on out. Just like mm -hmm. my children ain't going to be 30 years old living in my house. You just ain't going to do that. You need to be able to take care of yourself. We never train people and say, now I'm giving you this and you can go on. So when the people just take theirs and go on, then the spirit of rejection is in the leader. So I'm mad because they started their church. And now I'm going to put a curse on them. I'm going to speak ill on them. I'm going to say they're not going to make it. That's the spirit of rejection that we don't want to talk about. When, when yeah. someone yeah. leaves mm -hmm. the church... For whatever reason, and just as long as I didn't hurt them, I don't care. If they left the church because they thought their season was over, that's between them and God. They left the church and they said they wanted to start a ministry, that's between them and God. Jesus told the disciples when they were complaining about the disciples on the other side, he said, leave them alone. They said they're not of them. He said they're preaching the same gospel. Leave them alone. And sometimes we get mad. The people over there preaching Jesus, they're just not preaching Jesus in your house. And sometimes we get mm -hmm. mad. Jesus yeah. told the disciples, they were talking about the, the, the disciples on the other side of the river. And they said they was not of them. Jesus said they're preaching the, the gospel. Leave them alone. And so the spirit of rejection sometimes shows up in the house of God. When we don't, and the spirit of control comes from rejection. Oh, yeah. When people don't do what we want them to do. When people are not what we want them to be. When people are not going where we want them to go. That's the spirit of rejection. Because now we're trying to control the sheep. You know, one of the things that we, we teach at our church is that when you can no longer hear your shepherd, because the Bible says the sheep shall hear their shepherd, and only him will they adhere to. Kingdom-minded would be to say, okay, you can't hear us, but we know if you go somewhere else, maybe your season is up here, but we're going to be okay with it, because we know that if you go somewhere else, then you would, because if you find your shepherd, you're going to be able to hear. Right. And if you be able to hear, then you're going to be able to grow, and, and growth will take place. But if we start holding on to disgruntled folk, it's just like in the corporate America, you start holding on to disgruntled uh, people, yes. it's going to, it's it's gonna, yeah, it's a, it becomes a disease and it infects the whole thing. Yes. But if you are, are allow, as leaders, we got to learn to know when that season is up, uh -huh. we got to be able to let them go with a pure heart and then send them away with a gift. That's it. That's, That's when it. you're not rejected. Yes. See, but, when yes. the leader rejected, you angry, you tell another sheep not to talk to them, they can't call you on the phone, you better not go to lunch with them. You know what I'm saying? Everybody going to turn it back to you because now I'm mad because you said you want to leave. Yeah. So if that person want to leave, let them go. But that goes back to training, equipping. Mm -hmm. yeah. As leaders, yeah. the Lord told us to equip the saints mm -hmm. for the work of the ministry. Yes. He didn't say equip the saints to sit in the house. Yes. yes. And when we yes. equip yes. them, yes. we 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 have the expectation of them going and utilizing the gifts mm -hmm. that God has given them mm -hmm. when that season is over. Because once we've equipped them, then we're doing what God has told us to do. But if we don't, if we as leaders don't walk in that truth of the Word of God, then how in the world can we expect? Others to go when they should go, and then us not feel rejection. We feel the rejection, again, because we're looking around at what's going on around us rather than looking inside and saying, God, you have given me this sheep mm -hmm. for this season. Yes. Help me to do what you told me to do yes. in the book of Ephesians, yes. to equip them right. in their area of giftedness and commission them to go 
to take the gospel mm -hmm. to the world. Yeah, that's what he told his disciples. That's you know? what he told. That's and we're exactly, his disciples. That's yes. exactly what he told his disciples. That's exactly right. He but, said, go and make fishermen. Thank you. Hand. That's all he said. But you know what? Correction starts in the house of God, and it starts with us leaders. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be the first to say, we've made mistakes. You mm -hmm. know, we've made mistakes because there is no, there is no uh, book on parenting. And mm -hmm. we make mistakes, but we got to be uh, seasoned enough to say, listen, baby. I made that mistake. I did something wrong. That wasn't the right way to do. Because you can call, you can correct that rejection as a leader if you are um, humble. You're not walking in pride. Yes. If you're humble enough, you can co you can correct it. You can bring them back. But when you start saying, "Oh, I, I'm bigger than this. I didn't do this." As a leader, we're all subject to God. Mm -hmm. All subject to God. From the leadership, from the pastor, say from the White House to the pulpit, to the pulpit, to the back door. To the back door. We are all subject to God. Mm -hmm. And so even though because we're leaders and you see your leader in error, don't go tell the world about it. Not you God. get on your bended knees and you pray for that leader. And you ask God to, to uh, equip them. You know, we're like when we first started our ministry eight years ago, of course, we had nothing but babes in the church. And of course, we was babes too. We was babes as parents. And so we made a lot of mistakes, mistakes that um, we didn't know how to correct. But I thank God for the wisdom of God because that's what we've been praying over our house. God, give us wisdom. Yes, give yes, us wisdom. Yes. The Bible says, though a man lack wisdom, let him ask of God and he will give it liberally and upbraid if not. we got to get to the point where we take responsibility so that our hands are clean. I was reading something the other day about the integrity of God. When the integrity of God comes, that means your hands are pure. Integrity is doing the right thing even when nobody's, even looking. When nobody's looking. So if we get to the point as leaders that we're walking in integrity, God will get the glory and not us. Listen, if we ever want to see the glory of God like never before, if we want to see healing like never before, deliver. some of us want to see it for self-glory. But if you want to see it so that the glory, the Shekinah glory, could come in your personal house, the church house, on your job, yes. you want to see dead raise up, blind eyes open, the lame walk, you want to see those coming out of prison. Some of us got children that are bound up. Yes. Some of us got children that's on drugs. You don't want to go and save the world and lose yourself. Yes. You don't want to bring many to the Lord, even as a leader, and be a castaway yourself. I really, really feel that God is calling us back in the house of God a different way. God want to do something totally different. Yes. And God is shifting, and we got to shift with God. And there's a changing of God, you know. There's a changing of generals. God is raising up new generals. God is raising up new prophets. And God is allowing us to do things untraditional. It's not church as usual. Mm -hmm. And we got to be the pl in a place that we don't get offended so easy, get mad. And we just got to say, God, I want want you to search me. God, is whatever they're saying, I feel myself in it. And, and we, you don't want to ever lose conviction. Yes. You don't ever want to get yes. in a place that you lose conviction. And we don't ever want to get in a place where we say, it's the sheep. Mm -hmm. It's them. Yes. We want to get in a place and say, God, show me. Yes. A more perfect and different yes. way. Yes. God, help me. Yes. God, I want to yes. live right. When you and the see, rejection will cause you to talk about everybody but yourself. Yes. Rejection will cause you to see everybody but yourself. Me and prophets may have a disagreement, and, 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 but I got to see my part in it. I played a role in it. What was my part in it? So if all I say is you, 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 and everything you did, but I can't see nothing I did, I got a spirit, a bad spirit going on. And all that comes from rejection. I, I want the, the, the guests to just close us out, and then I'm going to come back. Because the last thing that Leo did was praise him. And she said that, the, that now, now, she had Judah. She said, now I can praise him. We can't go back in the church jumping and shouting like we did before, and we ain't got no victory. We can't go back in the church jumping and shouting, and we still bound. Leah was able to jump and shout because the Lord has set her free. And I want us to be able to say, God, I praise you. God, I bless you. God, I, I magnify you. We got to be in a place that we can provoke the presence of God. We got to be in a place that we can evoke him, that he'll come in. 
in and the glory of God will come in and the atmosphere will shift. Uh, ah, the glory of God will come in and things will begin to move. Uh, the glory of God will come in and you'll know because you'll see blind eyes open. You'll see the lame walk. It will be no doubt that surely the presence of God is in this place. We'll just be like Peter and Paul. The, the, the gates of silence, the jail will, will shake. You want to be in a place where there's a shaking move of God. You want to be in a, a place where God is shaking. He's shaking you up. He's shaking me up. He's shaking the house up. We don't want to go back and we got that false religion, that false move, that false feeling. But we want it real. You know how it's real? When the rebellion goes, you'll look and you'll know, you know, I used to do that. I don't even desire to do that no more. I remember when I was over there and I ain't over there. You won't be in the same place doing the same thing. You won't be doing the same thing that God don't brought you out of. So when the spirit of rejection is dead, you'll find a new place and you'll be doing a new thing. And you won't even have to testify about it. Everybody will begin to say, mirror, mirror. They they looking and they seeing the reflection. Let me tell you something. I'm going to let the, the men and women close. But Jesus wants to look at you and you are that mirror and when he look in that mirror he see his reflection shining back and, and you ain't got to say nothing he just want to be able to look in you mm -hmm. and when he look at you he see himself in yes. you and so when that spirit is gone he'll begin to look and when he look at you, he see himself. And you'll know we're ready for what God want to do. We say we're going back in the church. Let God begin to look in the mirror and see his reflection. Amen. Y'all got something to say? I, 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 I do. Mm -hmm. I do. Amen. I want to say the church, uh, uh, I mean, um, what's the word? Rejection. Rejection makes the church unbalanced. Yes. And so when the church is unbalanced, it's up to the leaders to uh, balance it back. Um, something Apostle said, she said, we put too much negative, we, we focus on the negativity and we don't focus on the good. Well, we need to add to the people and not take away. Come on now. So what we need to do, the Bible says we overcome evil with good. Rejection is a spirit of evil. And the only way to clean it up is to begin to, just like she said, pour into them the good. Oh, well, you're, you're the best singer ever. Stop looking for the negative places, but find the good places. Add to them daily. Uh, the Bible says Christ added to them daily. He added to the church daily. And so we got to add to the church daily as leaders. Because you know when Apostle said that, I thought about parents. Mm -hmm. Sometimes as leaders, when we were not taught that, it's like when you ever been in a home and it wasn't nothing but negativity. Yes. And your mama said you weren't going to do this and you couldn't do this and you weren't going to go. I was telling somebody, sometimes we have supervisors and they don't never see the good in us. Mm -hmm. They always going to say what you ain't and what you ain't. So for that um, spirit of positive, that spirit of, of, of excellence, that spirit of success, if, it don't, if, if you don't feel that way because somebody told you you couldn't, you shouldn't, because we are like parents. Mm -hmm. If our mamas was negative, then we're negative. Yes. If our mamas yeah. was bitter, then we're bitter. <laughs> if our mamas was the type of people that say you could never do this and you can't go. So that, 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 that raises up in us. And so when we're saying tell the people, it has to be trained in us. Yes. It has to be taught in yes. us. It has to be something that you may tell me, look. God has called us to build up the body. I may not know how to build up the body. I may not have known anything. You know, some people came from the old school. And they, they used to slap the people and pluck the eye to save the soul. They called it pluck the eye to save the soul. And everybody was dying and going to hell. And so if we came from that generation, and you can't tell the people something you don't know. You can't give the people something you ain't got. So we can say we need to give the people positive. If you ain't got it, you can't give it. Yes. If you don't know it, you can't do it. And if it ain't in you, you can't give it. Mm -hmm. and, and you took us right right where I was going to go back, circle back around to and close with. For, for me, I'm, a, I'm an equipper. I'm, I'm a builder. That's, that's what God has put in me. The thing that God is doing, we keep saying God doesn't want us to go back in the church the same way. God doesn't want us to go back in the same way. God is doing something new. What the new that God is doing is what God intended from the beginning. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's not it's not new in there's something different. It's new in that we didn't do it to begin with. 
Yes. And if yes. we look at the yes. inception of the church in the book of Acts, the Bible says that when, after Peter preached, 3,000 souls were saved. Mm -hmm. And they continued in fellowship, in the breaking of bread, and in the word or the doctrine of the disciples. That was the equipping. The same methodology that Jesus used to equip 12 has not changed. My, my, it has my. not changed, but we change. Yes. And while we're yes. crying about yes. what we see in the church, it's a direct result of us not doing the methodology that Jesus established in his word. Yes. And yes. that we see Peter and the other disciples doing exactly the thing that Jesus taught them. We don't want to be taught. We think God... God talks to me. I don't need that. I don't need to be submitted to yes, anyone. Yes, I don't. Yes. I, I got my own ministry. I don't yes. need a covering. You yes. are out of order. You yes. are doing more damage to the body of yes. Christ. Than, and and I'll, I'll stand on this. And that I'm passionate about this. You can equip people with truth. Truth will yes. rise to Come the on. top Come every on. time. Yes. They may not like it. They may not like yes. you. Yes. We are in a microwave generation. We're in a microwave society. And we talk about fast. this new generation. Yes. They only doing yes. to the next level what we did. Mm -hmm. We didn't want to be submitted. Yes. We wanted to. That's why yes. we got a thousand churches and with yes. two people in. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. When yes. we, when yes. we, when yes. we yes. ought to be coming together yes. as the body of Christ, we don't want to submit to you. We don't want to submit to God. We don't want a covering. Mm -hmm. We don't want to be held accountable. And I truly believe is because we don't want to take the time to sit at the master's feet and be taught because the yes. master will correct you he will he will love on you he will genuinely tell you yes. what's, what's good yes. in you that's and right. he'll also cut you that's with right. that, that word that's right. that word is a double-edged sword we don't we don't we want the good side but there is a there's an old saying no cross no crown. No crown. Yes. Everybody want a crown with the title on it, and but ain't nobody no trying to sit down and get up. Come Don't on. Don't make me get started. Y'all get her. started. <laughs> <laughs> the church said, I was going to say, the church said, we're going to send her back to North Carolina. You preaching woman of God. My um, God. Prophet has worked in um, corporate America. This is our close. We're going to let you close. We're going to get this. <laughs> Probably we 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 the women. You you wait. <laughs> we just met with we met with Pastor Pastor. We gonna let you in a minute. Probably worked in corporate America, and in corporate America, when things went wrong, they didn't bother the entry level people. They fired the managers. Come on, right. that meant the managers was not equipped. That's right. That meant the managers was not doing their job. That's right. That meant that the managers had lost vision. That's that right. meant the managers mm -hmm. had lost focus. That meant the managers had lost sight. So in corporate America, when things went sour and it looked like the jobs was going down, the entry level people they needed them. Yes. The entry level they people they were not at jeopardy. That's right. They were not. Um, they were not um, at jeopardy of their jobs, you know. They were in a safe place. It was the managers that were removed. Right. And that's the same thing in the kingdom. God is shifting. And it's the managers that he's dealing with. The sheep is okay. Because the sheep only know what we give them. Yes. The yes. sheep Amen. only know what Amen. we're doing Amen. and what Amen. we're giving them. And God Amen. is moving the kingdom as it is in the natural. If the managers don't line up, That's meaning right. the leaders, yes. God will move yes. us. Yes. God Amen. don't need us. Amen. He only want to use us. So he'll raise up a new army. That's he'll right. train new managers. Right. And he'll move. So if we don't be like putty in his hands mm. and do what he wants us to do, yes. us as leaders, yes. and we don't get retrained, Regrouped, renewed, yes. so that we could be affected to the kingdom then, of God. Yes, yes. and yes. to the people that He's bringing in, you'll find yourself fired. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Good yeah. God. My, Close my, my. remarks. And God is the only one that can fire you and keep you working. Yeah. <laughs> but, but you know, I, I, He does. True. But That's I think true. in this season, He's firing you and you're not working. Yeah, and yeah, this season yeah, here, he was uh, there, he, you know his grace. A prophet said, apostle said something this morning. Uh, she came down here on fire. God is frustrated. Mm -hmm. We have frustrated the spirit of God mm -hmm. and the spirit of rebellion. And the spirit of rebellion has brought, the spirit of rejection bring rebellion. And so we have done everything we wanted to do, all the way we wanted to do it, how we wanted to do it, and couldn't nobody tell us. This God has, is frustrated, frustrated is with grace. us. And, yes. and, and the grace has run out. He mm. said his spirit wouldn't always strive. And so 
Well, past, in past times, we would be fired, and you still could prophesy. Yeah. You would be Come fired, yes. and you still could sing in the choir. Yes. You would be fired, and you could preach the gospel. Mm -hmm. You would be fired, and you could travel all over. And see, the gift and the cause without repentance. You could be gifted, but then have no anointing. It's a, it's a difference Jesus. between the gift and the anointing. But so he, he at that time Jesus. he was letting you work. Yes. But and he That's wasn't firing you. That's but the grace has run out. Yes. He says Go back to the ask. grace is running out. Go back, and so go I think we're in a yes. season now that um it is like going behind that curtain. You ain't right, they're just pulling you out. <laughs> you they're pulling you out when the priest went yeah, and they yeah, wasn't yeah, right, yeah, yeah, they were yeah, just yeah. pulling them out. Yeah. So I believe that we're in that season now that mm -hmm. you will no longer work handicapped and crippled. You will no longer work polluted. So God is in a place that you you won't be contaminated. God will not allow us to work as leaders in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. We are getting fired. Yes, and you know what? Jesus. He's changing guards. Look Change at uh, guards. Deborah and Barak. He Barak couldn't do it. He said, okay, you can't do it. I'm going to change the guard. Deborah had to do it. My God. So God ain't no more letting you work, firing you and letting you work. He's firing you for good. He fired Barack and he moved with Deborah. So we got to get into the place. Leaders, leaders, it ain't even about the flock, the sheep. It's about the leaders getting in place, taking a stand, and taking responsibility for the things that they've done wrong. And then, and then correcting those sheep. My God. Yes. Yes. And don't think you won't. He did it with Elijah. Yes. Elijah was in the in the cave. Yes, yes, yes. In the cave, yes. finding the God. And God said, okay, we're going to find Elijah. His time was up. His time was up. That's right. Nothing but me. We're going to let you talk. We're going to let you talk. I was just at uh, one, of the, one of my pastors' um, uh, birthday party. She just turned, what, 70? Mm -hmm. and, and when it was the old guy in there, said, every time you rub your hand, that means God is in the fire. But let me tell you something. We, 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 we have to realize that God is in our fire. Mm -hmm. yeah. when, when, we, when, we, when we line up and the, and the true word, I ain't talking about no false word, I'm talking about the true right. word, which is God, which is the living word, is what God said. We, when, we, when we find it in, the, in, in, in our pure belly, mm. we'll know. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Because the, the Bible says the truth oh. shall make you free. Make you free. And when you're free, you're free indeed. And I am so glad about it. Because God give it in the world cannot take it away. I don't care how much people lie on you. I don't care what kind of stories they tell on you. Because it, 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 it was an interesting story after, after Rachel and, 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 and Leah went through what they went through. The boys went through the same thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all missed that one. Y'all yes. missed that one. Yes. Sometimes... Generation. When you think you out the fire, Jesus. you're not. Because when Paul and Silas and all of them was, 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 was not Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego was thrown into the fire, those boys said, I'm not worrying because we know that we serve a God Come on. that can deliver us from it. Mm. And when the, when, when, when the king looked in there, he said, no, I thought we throw three in there. <laughs> Listen to what they said. The king said, no, I see another one in the name of Jesus. <laughs> so what I'm trying to tell you all today is men and women of God in, out there in radio land. Don't let people tell you that you cannot do it. If God, if he put your foot to it, he'll take you through it. Yeah. Oh, y'all don't hear what I'm saying. I'm telling you, I'm a true witness. I'm here to let you know that God can. God can do what he said Come he will do. Amen. Amen. Don't Amen. let nobody tell you that you can't birth nothing out. Mm. And you can birth it. Because God said he give life in the birth. Oh, y'all missed that one there too. Y'all missed that one there too. I'm telling y'all, I'm on I'm telling y'all that God is a God that cannot lie. If he said it, who God. That settles it. Amen? Amen. So let's Amen. hold on to what God is saying in this time, day and time. Let's hold on to the truth. Amen. And nothing but the truth. I want everyone at this table to take something away this afternoon. Let us hold to the, to, to, to the fullness of joy that God has in our lives. Amen. Don't, I'm, I'm, I'm here to tell you that men might see 
what they want to see, but God is changing the outlook. Oh, y'all mm. missed that one. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's telling me what to say now. Mm. I'm not just saying these words. Mm. He's changing the outlook. The, hey, let me tell you something. The picture might look real my God, to some my people, God, my God. Mm -hmm. but look at it again. Mm. Oh, y'all, I'm changing telling you, I'm outlook. telling you. The mm -hmm. outlook is changing, and we're going to walk in a season to where we're going to know that it is God. And God going to, and God going to put the, 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 the fullness on it. Hey, y'all just brought a cake in the day and y'all said that cake was rich. It ain't rich. It's not rich. The richness is in Jesus. Mm. Jesus got so much richness and for us, we don't even know. But the Bible said, ears have not heard, eyes have not seen mm -hmm. what God has got in store for us this year. Mm -hmm. I can see it, I feel it, so I'm going to hold on to it. The promise is not yet, but it's yet to come. Yes, oh, glory, 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 glory. I'm so thankful this afternoon for Jesus. I thank Amen. God I sat in, in this um, session this afternoon because God is in this place. Amen. God Amen. is in this place. Amen. Real talk. Real Let's talk. talk. Yes, yes, straight yes. talk. Straight Let's talk. talk. What the church is not talking about. I'm so glad that our guests took time to be with us. And I'm so glad you took time to be with us. The Bible says, by this all men shall know that we are his disciples. And what was this? His blood. Amen. So I just want to encourage somebody today. It don't matter what you're going through. Jesus loves you. Yes, he does. It don't matter what you've been in. Yes, Jesus does. loves you. Yes, I want to encourage somebody today. Don't let go. No matter yes, what the yes, struggle yes, is. Yes, no yes. matter what the situation. Ooh, God, he yes. knows. Oh, 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 Leo oh, oh. had to come to a yes. place that yes. he knows. Ooh, he God, cares. Yes. God yes. heard her cry. He said, whosoever call upon the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved. He says, his eyes go to and yes, fro. Yes. So he, God sees. God heard, God mm -hmm. know. So I want to encourage you today that God know your cry. He, knows, he hears he knows, your cry. Yes. God want to heal you everywhere you hurt. So you Lord. just need to say, Father, I stretch my hand to thee. No yes. other help I know. If yes. I withdraw oh, thyself yes. from thee, yes. God, whether yes. shall I go? I encourage you today that you will connect to the true vine, which is Christ Jesus. Yes. But some of you that are out there and you say, I just feel all alone. Find someone. Find someone that you can talk to. Yeah. Find someone that you can connect with. Apostle said something. We all need an accountability. Yeah. I'm going to let this go, but some of us are just roaming. We're roaming aimless. we like sheep that are going astray. Yeah. We don't yeah. have no accountability. And oftentimes, we don't want to connect with anybody yeah. because we don't want no accountability. Yeah. We don't want to connect with anybody because we want to do what we want to do. But there's a danger place in that. My God. Yeah. Let me tell you the danger place in that because when you're not connected with no Nobody, you don't have no accountability. That means nobody can Ooh, pick you up in yes, the spirit. That's right. That means you'll go through and people don't pick you up in the spirit. All the time I have people telling me, I know you're praying for me. I don't. I don't even know you like that. They just, you know, and I just look at them because how am I praying for you? You're not connected to me. You're not attached to me. Lil said I needed to feel attached. Yes. Somebody needs to be attached. Yes. You need to find a place that you can attach to. You need to find a pastor that you can attach to. So that someone can pick you up in the yes. spirit. Yes. Somebody can Ooh, carry yes, you yes, through yes, yes, and bring yes, you yes, out. Yes, yes, so yes, I want to encourage yes. you that you need to get with oh someone. Let me tell you something. And you can't eat at McDonald's and pay Burger King. I was okay. telling the apostle okay. today, I'm just not going to let people be on the phone and just wear me out. I'm not going to cast my oil, pour my oil on the ground. When you pour your oil on the ground, it's ineffective, yes. not effective. So, Zion, a lot of us, we're saying what the pastor ain't doing, but then the sheep got to come in alignment too. Yes. We all got to come in a place. We all, got, we all got our part to do in this season. Yes. We all got our part to do in this next place. But the first place is saying, Father, I repent. Yes. Father, what lack of that? When you begin to say, God, it is me. God, it is me standing in the need of prayer. Yes. I can't look Amen. over here and I can't look on the left. I got to look unto you, God. I'm looking unto you. I look unto the hills from which come my help. We got to get past. I want to tell somebody, you have outlived your pain. My, meaning my, that you my. don't been through some stuff uh -huh. and you still holding on to it. You dwell in that place long enough. Let it go. Yes. You've outlived that circumstance. You outlived that situation. Yes. Yes. You have outlived that struggle. You got to let that thing go. Don't let that be your experience. 
excuse. The man laid at the pool for 38 years, and he was laying down there in excuses. He was right there on the verge of his blessing, but he was so caught up in this situation, he could not even see his blessing. So I want to tell someone today, don't lay at the pool. Don't let it be said Get too up. late. Get up. Yes. Get up. For the Lord want to bless you right where you hurt. Yes. The Lord want to heal you right where you hurt. Father, we thank you today. Yes, God. God, we bless you today, God. Yes. God, we bless you for our viewers, God. God, we know that your ears are not too dull that it cannot yes. hear. God, your arms are not too short that it cannot reach into the yes. uttermost parts, God. Oh, God, your eyes are not so dim that it cannot see our circumstance. So, God, we ask today that you breathe afresh, God. Yes. Oh, God, that you pick us up out the muck and the clay, God. You pick us up out of the miry clay, God, out the horrible pit, God, and set our feet on high, God. Oh, God, we ask that you strengthen us out of Zion. And God, we cry out today, what must we do to be saved, God? We cry out today, I yield, I yield. God, that means I'm going to let it go, God. I'm going to forget those things which are behind and press towards the mark of the high calling, which is in Christ Jesus. God, I say today, God, let this be the beginning of a new day, God. Oh, God, I ask today that you give me a hunger, God, and a thirst for you, God. Oh, God, let me have a passion and a desire for you, God, that I don't look back on the begging elements of this world, God. But I let go, God. I let go, God. And Father, I ask God that you bless our viewers, God. Oh, God, I ask that you bless our children and our children's children, God. Oh, God, I ask that you bless us as we go back in, God, that we reposition ourselves, God. Oh, God, that we be in place, God, and we be in position, God, and that you find us doing the things that you called us to do, God. And Father, we'll be so careful to give you the glory. We'll be so careful to give you the praise, God. And Father, Father, if there's anyone on, on this view, God, that need to say, God, I have need of you. God, I'm tired, God. Oh, God, I ask that you save the backslider, oh, God. Oh, God, I ask that you save the sinner, God. Oh, God, I ask that you pick up the weak, God, and strengthen them where they're toned down, God. Oh, God, I ask that you heal the broken heart, God. Oh, God, I ask that you turn some impossible situations around, God. Oh, God, we thank you, God. And, God, we bless you, God. And we forever give you the praise and the glory, God. Oh, God, we're like Leo, God. Now that you have blessed me, God, I can tell you thank you, God. The songwriter say, bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that's within me. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Now, I believe Leo just began to say, oh, give thanks unto the Lord and bless his name. Somebody ought to just clap their way out of it. Yeah. Somebody ought to just praise their way out of it. Somebody ought to just tell God, thank you. Thank you God. Come on, thank just you. tell God, thank, thank you. you. As we leave this place, God, but not your presence, God. Oh, God, we just want to tell you, thank you. This has been real talk, let's talk. Straight talk, let's talk. What the church is not talking about. We thank you for joining us. And we pray that this has been a blessing to you. If it's been a blessing, share it with someone. And if it has been a blessing to you. And you find yourself in a weak place. Reach out to someone that can pull you up. Reach out to someone that can strengthen you. Reach out to someone that can encourage you. God bless you Zion. Until we meet again. This is Apostle Mac Ray. Real talk, let's talk. Straight talk, let's talk. What the church is not talking about.